All right, so let's say you have one of these Lenovo clocks and you're bored of it because it literally has no cool features on it. I'm gonna show you how you can turn this into basically an Android device. Now, how are you gonna do that? Well, you need a browser, obviously. And this does have a browser built in has two actually, this one through the weather app, which you could probably, you know, scroll through hyperlinks for an hour, try to get to F-Droid and install something, but I'm not gonna do that, because that's dumb. We're going to go to settings on the home app, go to accessibility, we're gonna turn on screen reader, and tap on the screen, draw an L shape, and then scroll through the contact context menus, Take it to talk back settings and double click that. And we're going to turn tap click off. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here until you see privacy policy. Click that, it's going to open another browser which you know has a little bit more stuff in it. Now, the issue is we don't have a keyboard, so we can't really do anything here. So, what, what I did is I created an event later today called the keyboard and what I need to do is copy that link from here and then paste it on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh hey maybe it won't work right now because we're in the we're in this mode so uh so we're gonna go ahead and restart which requires me to literally just unplug it because there's no reset button. I'm gonna wait for that to restart. Alright, so now that that's restarted, we're gonna say, Hey, what are my upcoming events? There's one entry for today. I don't know. Yep, yep. That's it. Anyways, we're gonna turn the talk back, back on. We're gonna click on this. Draw the L shape. Draw the L shape. Copy it to the clipboard. I can draw the L shape again. I'm gonna go to talkback settings, and we're gonna turn talkback off. Privacy policy again. So this time we're going to hold this down, paste. Oh boy, I didn't copy all of it. Well, that's fine. We're just gonna go to fdroid.com. That's good enough. Apps. It's gonna take a while to get here, but eventually we'll get here. There we go, simple keyboard. Alright, download APK. Alright, I'm gonna go to settings, unload from the source, install, open, and now we have a keyboard. And uh, yeah, my clipboard is uh, messed up, but yeah, as you can see, we have the keyboard now. Pretty much the only way to get out of this is to basically just restart again because, uh, well, maybe not. Oh, but yeah, it just goes back to the browser. So that's good. And it adds. Since we can type now, we're gonna type. And, uh, this one looks pretty nice. Go ahead and see if this one works. I already finished. This is default. Okay, so let's see here we have, currently we have all these apps, I guess that's how you get to it, but um, yeah, I don't really like this launcher, so we're going to get an app called Keymapper. We're going to download that. Okay, so it turns out I forgot to save it, so um, double press volume up, it should go home. Yep, goes home. Let's just go to Keymapper again. Create a new one. Hold trigger. One down. We're gonna do double tap, double press. Action, add action. Go back. Save. And. Yep, that goes home. So yeah, we're gonna 
I'm gonna get back to you when this is working and I'm on a normal launcher. See you later. So it is now one month later, because I completely forgot about this video. And I finished setting this up. I have proper launcher. I have apps on here. I even tried to get YouTube on here, but it didn't work sadly, but it still pulls up though. Like yeah, if I pull up a brand new ad, something's wrong with that, I don't really know. But yeah, we got that working. We got um, the clock app, clock app working. We got, we even got a uh, app installer, so I can have different files, browse the random files, you know, do random things. Most importantly, we have the button to go back home. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Actually, you know what? That's not it. We're gonna install again. And uh, yeah, this is pretty slow because it's like this app is just really stupid, but yeah, let's search up, um, you know, geometry. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Alright, there we go. Geometry Dash. Alright, let's see how bad this is. Wow, this is awful. The touch delay is, like, insane. Yeah, it's not that I'm bad at this game, it's just that the touch delay is so bad. Like, look at this. You can clearly see that I touched it, and it just didn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can clearly see that um, this is not uh but yeah anyway that is the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully I won't take a month to edit it, so later.